Hello everyone, KDXL here and welcome to the start of my Minecraft 1.18 series. This series is just going to involve me playing Minecraft in general and building a lot of stuff. The main goal of episode 1 is just to find a place to build a starter base, build it and possibly find a cave. That's my main goal for episode 1 and let's start playing. As to any Minecraft world, the first thing you do is to collect some wood to make yourself a crafting bench. And I do have myself a starter map because it really helps me get the feel of the area and get around more easily. Now it's time to get myself a crafting bench and get some tools. Preferably stone tools, jumping straight to stone tools cause that's much way more easier than having to stick with stone. I mean having to stick with wood rather. <laughs> and I have to try and find the bed soon cause preferably to skip the night cause the first night are always the hardest and get myself some food in the process. Now that I have gotten my stone tools ready, I have to look for resources, coal especially. which I found some in this cave which, was, which will come in handy later for lighting up caves like this one I would have loved to explore the cave deeper but the cave had a really huge drop and I wasn't armored up for that so the best thing for me to do right now is to get out of the cave and look for more easy resources after walking around for a while, I found my first ship and I tried to use an axe to get a crit hit on it, but you know, what happened? <laughs> While exploring, I used the time to get some more wood, some more food around and explore around and see what the land gives me and some sugar cane also. And then I found a beehive, which will really come in handy later in terms of copper. Just getting a few saplings here. Now it's almost night time and I haven't got enough wool to make a bed. So right now what I think I'll do is just to burrow myself into a hole and collect more resources. I am going to wait the night out and in the meantime get more copper stone in terms of building and just mine in general. I have enough food to survive the night and I'm just going to do that and go to that. Finally it's morning and here's what I've done so far. I've just dig the hole towards that place and just collect enough resources and go out to find a place to build and collect enough saplings also.
Maybe later down the line I do something with foxes. I found my second ship here, hiding from me. Come on. <laughs> And I'm still collecting food and some leather on the way. I liked this spot, but I didn't really feel it, so I decided to head back towards spawn. And towards the end of the day, I found the last sheep, which gave me the last wool I need to make a bed and sleep the night, which is very useful. And finally, I found a place to settle down. I'm in Timbush Forest. <laughs> and next thing now is to just clear some trees and look at the area I'm working with. Trees have been cleared. Now I have an idea of what I'm working with and what to do. By the way, I found this little patch of dark oak right here at the edge of the of the land mass which is really helpful I really need that coke I have a little farm here just a little sugarcane farm and a wheat farm just to make things easier for me next thing now is to have the layout of my starter base which is going to make things easier and just to have a visual representation this is what i'm working with just a seven by seven square and a seven by five rectangle attached to it Getting more food to go for caving, just collecting food and just to prepare myself for caving. I found a pink sheep which was nice and a cave right here. I hope it leads deep into the ground to lead me to deep slate because I really need deep slate for my build. We will also check one of the goals for this episode. Hopefully. <laughs> All I'm going to do now is go to deep sea level, gather more resources, more iron, redstone, and uh, more deep seas for my build. Found a little patch of iron up there. This cave is really massive and I would like to build here, right here someday, maybe later in an episode. <laughs> Got myself a shield, which is really helpful since I have no armor on, now it at least protects me, or I have some protection. I got some piece of ammo from that skeleton, which was really nice, <laughs> I guess. I also found some a lush cave, which has some blueberries and, you know, moss there, which is really helpful, which will be really helpful. And the clay, I think I'll just come back for it later.
finally got to Dipsley level and I found my first diamond and something very funny happened here. <laughs> I was trying to Bruh. mine it and <laughs> normally I would cut this clip out but something happened <laughs> while I was trying to record this. I was in first person. I was in third person front and on bedrock you can just switch it back and the zombie was attacking and I had no armor. I try to switch it back as fast as I can. <laughs> but this isn't as easy on the rook. I'm just going to gather some deep slate now and complete the build. Oops, yes. The deep slate has been gathered. I have about four stacks of this deep slate. <laughs> which will be more than enough for what I'm about to build. Heading up now, it's time to start on the starter base and have some progress done. I have most of the resources I'm going to need in this chest but since I don't have a second camera account right now to have a time lapse I'll be doing cuts like this just showing you the breathing process this is the progress so far and it's raining <laughs> So it's been raining consistently here on the server and this guy showed up which I had to hammer up quickly with the iron I got from the cave and defend myself. I have bad men now but I don't have a cow to get some milk which I will get later. On to the next court. As you've seen, now the build has a roof on it. The roof on the first one and the second little building I have there. On the inside, there's really nothing special there. I haven't really done anything. <laughs> I got these leads from a wandering trader. He happily gifted them to me. <laughs> The next cut would you be having a couple of details there and a little walkover. I have completed the build, add a little more details around and I am really going really happy to show you. As you are walking in this path that I have created towards the build, I have some flowers. By the way, I have some custom trees at where the cobblestone is. I have some custom trees and the insides are as basic as it can be. I have a bed, a little bit of a viewing area from the window. The second building here, I really don't know what to put there, but I'll figure something out. I really like how this build came together with some basic materials and I'm really happy with how this came out. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Leave a suggestion or feedback in the comments, I really, really appreciate it. The goals of the episode have been completed, find a starter, build a starter base and find a cave. So this is where it ends. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe for more and I'll see you next time. Peace.